Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Are you in the house? Aha! Aha! Listen, I did not come here to come and give you a lecture. I did not come here to come and tell you another story. I came to provoke an anointing upon your life. I came to stir you onto another direction. From tonight, from this very meeting, your life will change. Come on, if you are here with me, say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, I want to feel that very fanatic anointing. Aha! Aha! Yeah, yeah! Fra la 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 God tell me. Be all beginning to speak in the language of the spirit. Fra tuni mini mini kuse. Fra kesses. Fra talava lava la kuses. A tuni mini hagra. Savra li kisses. Re telelelelele kuses. Let all the other names fade away. Oh, let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Yeah.
now utilize it because in a few years you will have to book and pay for our flight so that we'll come down to Ghana to come and visit you hallelujah this woman is a very special woman in fact they are two they have been one of the people who have held me in phanerosis they have been a very strong backbone when the devil comes sometimes and you, do, you find yourself having certain thoughts or throwing some darts at you, it has been these two ladies who have been an anchor for me. They have prayed, they have spoken to me, and they hear from God. And that's the beautiful thing. So they're able to communicate what God is telling you at a certain time when you don't have. Church, let me celebrate Pastor Alberta. A hey, Sean. A very powerful woman of God. Yes, she's my council mate. We love council. So when you cook, please make sure there's council. We will come. Hallelujah. And General Beta. Hallelujah. Pastor Beta. I've loved this woman ever since we met at Atria Mountains. I told her that. And yes, sir. Vivian Kamewarino. Hallelujah. Now, now, those days, now Papa try say, so, yeah, a fine girl, oh, mojo, very anointed. Say, you busy, that. If you are not full, if you are not, you know, occupied, you can look at that way. But the woman of God was also looking somewhere. If it was looking somewhere, hallelujah. But she's a very lovely sister. She's been a dear sister for me and to my entire family. But I love you, okay? I love you. God bless you so much. Most importantly, you. It is because of you that we are standing here to minister. It's because of you that we go down on our knees to pray and, and continue fellowship so that we can always draw things from the, king, from the king to share with you. God bless you for being a faithful member of Phanerosis. Stay brightening wherever you find yourself and being obedient to this very call. God bless you. Oh, let's celebrate ourselves. <clears throat> I love my instrumentalists. I love my instrumentalists. Hallelujah. I saw only for me that Mr. Daniel strings person. So I did so. For me, you kumasi new, and then me ba kumasi anointing. Hallelujah. I will tell you the reason why. In my bid to prepare for this HOE, God took me places. I didn't know why. But he made me travel and drive motorway two times. Sometimes I'll get you home around 12 midnight or 1. If you are driving on the motorway around 11, it is not an easy thing. Because the motorway it has potholes. So in the night, you can't see all through. Sometimes you just appear on the, 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 the portal. Bohan said that when you whether we've been a chef table to her number, we don't know, but that is how it is. And when I am driving there, I'll be just blowing in tongues. Brali Katavadago says. He took me to a meeting, and in that meeting, I heard I heard very clearly in my spirit what he wanted me to speak about at each So I was meditating on it and thinking why why that why that very word that I heard see today I'm talking on the team hear ye hallelujah 
And then I'm saying about Kumasi anointing because me too now me call and then Kumasi soft will be. And the way he stirred the anointing on me, me won't be that. He brought me back to my roots. You know, I'm a Kumasi guy. I grew up from here before Accra for Chimmy or Mama Maye. Some gentle. So Accra for you preach here, you were some star. Come on, lift up your hands for Jesus. And now, may cut us a man with Sasso. No one man with Sasso. Zian, what did What you receive? You some vim. You need some vigor. Today is not the gentility at, at afternoon. And then, yeah, those days. Hallelujah. Usually, I don't preach like this or I don't talk like this. A woman is a spaky and a baba. And then, I may buy in that. I want to prepare your mind to receive. Open yourself up because God is ready to do something. If I tell you the things He has already done ahead of this meeting, you, you marvel. I'm talking on the team. Hear ye. Ah, the reader is ready. Hallelujah. We are going to Amos chapter 3. Start from verse 11. Amos 3. And in a very familiar scripture, I tell you so of another topic. Amos chapter 3, verse 11 to 13. As of my mind, I read it now. Oh, so who be there? Amos 4. And you're the 4. They be there in the 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Colossians, John. And you're very sharp, we'll find it. But Amos, who be there? Amos 4. Have you been able to find Amos? Fantastic. You see Amos now. Long time. Fire. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Verse 11. To 13, yeah. Therefore, mm -hmm. thus said the Lord God, mm -hmm. an adversary there shall be even round about the land, mm -hmm. and he shall bring down thy strength from thee, mm -hmm. and thy places shall be spoiled. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, Can as the shepherd taken. Number three, number three. Can I deal with Vim? I want to say more so. Vim. That said the Lord. Remember him. Can't come in to you. Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. as the shepherd taken out of the mouth. Of the lion, two legs, or the piece, or a piece of an ear. Number three, two legs. I want you to note that very well. Two legs. Uh huh. Two legs. Or a piece of an ear. Or a piece of an ear. So shall the children of Israel mm -hmm. be taken out that dwell in Samaria, in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus, in a couch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But is also. Hear ye. Mm hmm. And testify in the house of Jacob, mm -hmm. said the Lord God, the God of hosts. Hear ye and testify. My message for this afternoon, uh, very short, is hear ye. You see, Amos, let me come from that, the background. Amos, according to commentary, you know, it shows that he, he, he was like a shepherd. He was a shepherd in Tekoa. They were those who were, you know, in the field, shepherding the sheep. And I, I know that you know shepherds, they have a lot of challenges, especially when they go out with a flock to go and feed them. There are all sorts of wild, wild things that appear to attack the flock or the sheep. So I am very sure Amos saw one of this. So God used it to speak to him concerning Israel. When a bear or a lion came to capture one of the sheep, you know what they do when they capture a sheep? They will eat everything, especially the mid session. Usually, what they leave behind is the ear and the two legs. And a lot of times, it's the shepherd, because the shepherd knows their sheep and knows how many they have, and he realizes that one is gone. He goes after the very sheep that is gone. And he is able to rescue that part. It's only the ear and the feet that is able to always. Because by that time, the animals, uh, the, or the, the lion should be done with the, with the sheep. The shepherd would have arrived. And he is only able to rescue the ear and then the two legs. Very profound. I'm sure you are wondering why the ear and the two legs and the kai. You see, the reason why the ear is there is for you to 
be able to hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. You see, what God wants to do with Father Roses in coming 2019 is to raise people who can hear him. If you can't hear God in 2019, I am telling you, the rest will be very tough. Because it will take hearing from God to be able to stay the course that God is going to put you on. If you cannot hear, something is going to happen. Hearing, in defining what hearing is, is paying attention with the intention to obey. That is hearing. I am not talking about listening. You see, the world has been telling us to listen. Oh, listen to your teacher when he's preaching. Listen, listen. But when it comes to the kingdom, God does not deal with listening. He deals with those who hear. Hearing is for the matured in Christ. And God is calling you to maturity. To hear what he's saying. Hallelujah. Oh, are you with me? Fantastic. So this shepherd goes to rescue the ear and the two feet. For what? Let him finish everything. But the ear that he takes is an evidence of that he, the shepherd, was after the sheep when he got lost. In fact, let me talk to the leaders here. If you are a leader in Phanerosis or in the kingdom, and then you don't go after your members who are lost, you are in trouble. Because you can't show any account that shows that you have gone for them. Even when they are being devoured, you must be able to bring the ear and the two legs as proof that you went after the sheep when they got lost. How many of us have seen members who are, I mean, like a Dasika, they don't want to appear in any meeting. Their, their life is, is falling apart and we have turned a blind eye. If you are suffering here and your member is Listen, what is your proof that you've gone after the sheep? You don't have any proof. The only proof is the ear and the two feet. That means you are, no, you are not an effective leader. Hallelujah. See, I came to tell you There is a rescue in the house. Hallelujah. God is going to rescue people. It does not matter those who are being devoured or the enemy is coming after. It may be that in your family, the devil has been chasing after you. Throwing all sorts of trouble your way. Every day, there's another problem. There's no school fees. There is no money in the house. You, 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 are, you are burdened. You don't know what to do. You want to even commit suicide. You want to throw your life away. You want to go into prostitution. You want to start doing something that will take your life. But I want to tell you that God has sent the shepherd your way to come after you. Whether the enemy is trying to eat you or not. He has sent a shepherd to come and release you, to come and take you out of that very bondage. Hallelujah. That very shepherd is Jesus. Hallelujah. See, from the scripture, realize that any time we send the sheep out as shepherds, you see, it is not like you, you can't see all of them at the same time. Oh, yes. Your, your daughter lives at Nungwa. You also stay at Spintex. You don't see every day what happens to her. You don't know all that she goes through every day. So don't assume that as a shepherd, you'll be able to see everything that goes around the sheep. Or the sheep itself, that's so if you know all the surroundings they find themselves. So sometimes they end up in trouble. They end up in, 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 in a place where they do not have to be. But they find themselves there. Hallelujah. The only cry they can do is to do their man. Help me. Or whoever hears will come. But as the shepherd that God is raising. You see, you are not sitting here because you are sitting here. God is raising you as a shepherd in your family. God is raising you as the one who will be rescuing the souls of men in your neighborhood, in your school, in your community, in the, in the church you find yourself. That is what God is raising you for. Hallelujah. As 
a matter of fact. For us to be able to make progress in 2019 and do the things God wants us to do, we have to be able to hear. Hallelujah. It has taken men who can hear. Hallelujah. Men who hear the voice of God to carry out the agenda of God. You see, if you will be able to stay the course, God does not so much deal with visions. You know, visions, God, there's, even Satan can show you things. What did he do to Jesus? He took Jesus to the apex and then showed him the glories to which he can inherit if only he bows to him. The same way the devil can show you visions. He can show you visions. He can show you what is to come. I will give you money. I will give you car. But what will make you a sustainer or a runner in the kingdom, it is only those who will hear who will be staying the course. If you can't hear the voice of God, 2019 will be a different story. Wonderful things. I love it when Papa was preaching and, and, and talked about continued prayer. Awesome. But after praying, after tarrying in prayer, what next? You ought to hear. You have to be able to hear what the Spirit is saying. Because that is where the direction and, 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 and the needed assistance is going to come. It's not just only continuing in prayer. Oh, check Elijah, when he had put his feet, he said in between his feet, and had prayed and continued in prayer for seven times. What did he, what, what happened? Uh, what was the next thing? He had, but you know Elijah sent the servant, right? The servant was to go and see. You see, servants, they go only and see. But the men that God are raising as matured men, they don't wait for sight. They wait to hear what God is saying. Where the spirit is going. That is what they do. And when he said, I heard the sound of abundance of rain. He did not say, I see the abundance of rain. The servant came reporting that I see a cloud like the hand of a face. Elijah said, also, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. That is maturity. Hallelujah. The mature do not wait for signs. The mature do not wait that phanerosis will become the biggest entity before they, they, they begin to work, before they begin to run with the vision. No, 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 no. If you are growing in Christ, then you will run with the vision before. Because you know what you have heard. It will take the hearing to sustain you. Oh, are you here with me? It is only hearing. If you have not heard, do you know you can, you can misinterpret your vision? Hearing is awesome. And that is why I'm here tonight. That God is going to open your, your ears to hear him. Now, when they were talking about the fellowship, it is not because, it's not fellowship like us. No, 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 no. It is the fellowship to hear each other. Hear what the Spirit is telling you. And you also being able to communicate back to the Spirit. That is what Stephen was trying to push into our spirit. That it is about time that the fellowship becomes of essence to you. So that you can hear and know the direction that the Holy Spirit wants you to go. 2019. Oh, I'm not going by sight. No, 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 no. I have not seen what God is going to do in 2019. But I hear in my spirit the sound of abundance of rain. I hear in my spirit greatness, doors opening. We will manifest Christ everywhere we stand. Whoever we encounter, the person's life cannot be the same. That is what I hear in my spirit. And that is what I am focusing on. The voice. What you hear. You see, let me tell you a story. Do you know that when a human being goes into coma, almost all the other organs are not working. They are clinically dead. Do you understand? But there's one organ that works. There's one organ that does not clinically die. Or almost one year physically dead. It is the ear. That is why they will call their loved ones to come and stand by the bed. They will tell you, tell him of the good things. Tell him of stories that he resonates with. You have been with him, you have worked with the person. So you know all the 
cherished memories he has, start telling the person, tell the person. And as you talk into the ear of the person, as you keep talking, as you keep talking, the person's body begins to respond to the, what he's hearing. What he's hearing. Ha. I came to tell you that whether you think you are dead in Christ, whether you think nothing is working for you, I hear God tell you that, my son, I am with you. I will go with you all the way. I will raise you up. up. I will bless you above. Up. Nothing shall anywhere come near you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper uh, because God is with you. Hallelujah. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. I did not come to. Hallelujah. You see, the reason why the animal even leaves the ear and the two feet. It's because it is for you to hear that you may run. What do you use your feet for? You see, Bible says, make the, write the vision down, make it plain, that he who sees it may run. You see, when you hear, the, when you hear from God, you know the, the, the next reflex action? No, it, it starts in you some some excitement, your feet begins to move. It's like you are a player, you are ready for action. You know, you begin to warm up because you are taking off. That is what it does. That is what hearing does. When you hear, you can't walk. When you hear, it is only hearing that propels you to run the race of life. If you are going to run the race in 2019, you need to hear. Hallelujah. Listen, we are, we, we are feeding you with the best of meals. I mean, from Thursday we started. It's been awesome. Each word there, when, when I'm sitting there and they are preaching, God will tell me, you see, fantastic. This is what I want them to hear. This is the word. It's going into them. Come and put this one in there for, for it. Then they will see that it's a joint message. The hearing. You see, you are, you, you are listening to the word of God or you are hearing the word of God. Let me take it from that. You are hearing the word of God. But what would you do with the word when you have heard it? Are you packing it in yourself? Like Mama, Mama Beta will tell you. One day, one day, one day, one day, Because you only packed it in yourself. What, it should translate into action. You should do something with the word you are hearing. You should go forth in that word that you are hearing from this pulpit. Hallelujah. Oh, how many of us are running in 2019? Ah, I am looking for the, the, the cool sides. I'm not looking for people who will not run. I'm looking for people who will take their vision and run the race until everything God has said comes to pass. Hallelujah. So it happened. Caleb and the coal spies. We went to the land to check the land. Caleb saw. Everybody else saw. But Caleb had another thing. Caleb heard. The difference between he and the other spies is because what he he heard. That is why when they were giving the account that we see them as giants, we are like ants in front of them. He was saying, no, we are far bigger than them because he, what he had heard. When he was seeing giants, God was telling them they are dwarfs. Yes. You see, you can be in the same office with people. Issues may come. But what you have heard, when people are severing, you'll be saying that, hey, remain, remain cool. God is in control. All is well. All is well. And they'll be wondering, you, where, where, where are you from? Are you in Ghana at all? Can't you see the economy is hard? Can't you realize that we can't buy anything with the money? Can't you see that everything around us is going haywire? There is problem in the house. But what you have heard, it's what will sustain you. Hallelujah. So what are you hearing? So the verse 13 says, in the most, it says, hear ye. You need to hear. You need to open your ears and hear. And I pray that will be your prayer tonight. That God, open my ears to hear what you are saying. Yes, it is enough. I've heard the word. I want to hear the voice of God. I want to hear your word. I want to hear what you have to tell me for 2019. 
Don't only rely on what you are. You need to go that step further. Hearing, as I defined, is with the intention or listening attentively or hearing with attention, with the intention of obeying. Don't just listen to the word of God. Hear it. Hear it. Go and do as you have heard. Then I was checking the scriptures again. I was looking out for people who did distinct things in their generation. And guess who God took me to? Papa Isaac. I thought, please change and play, we will write. Hallelujah. God took me to Papa Isaac. And he said, Isaac had been in that land for years. He has tried sowing, he has tried planting, he has tried digging wells. Everything was not working. You have gone to school. You have applied for jobs. You have, you, you have gone for interviews. You have done everything that you can think of. But it seems not to yield results. Hey, I come to tell you something. There is something beyond what you have done. There is something that is beyond that you need to get connected to. It's to hear the voice of God concerning what you want to do, concerning any matter. Is to hear the voice of God. Because the Bible says, and Isaac heard that, don't go anywhere. Stay in that land. Hey, it took him hearing. Because, listen, okay, you can't story now. Sometimes we read it in the Bible, it's like storybook. We can't really relate. But you, let's bring it home. Can you imagine that you, you have been sacked from work, your mother does not have a job, your father has lost or he's lost his life there's nobody in your family line to provide support for you when you go to uncles they say they don't have when you go to aunties they say they can't help you everybody all the rooms and the doors that you could enter are closed and shut to you that was what was happening to Isaac he everything Isaac tried failed you've gone for several meetings and nothing is yielding Anywhere you tell yourself, you have been studying and studying and you seem not to be passing. You are getting frustrated. That was what was happening to Isaac. And the Bible says, Isaac being a man of the spirit, oh, started speaking in tongues. No, he was not hearing anything at that time. He was just, he said, let me do what I know I can do. Is to go to my maker and just speak in tongues. And he started blowing in tongues, walking up and down in his room. And he heard in his spirit that God says, So in this very land, stay here and do it again. Dig the same wells. Go, don't, don't move away. Stay here. This is where I have given to you. And he heard clearly, clearly. So all the things that were going around about him, all the challenges, all the attacks that was coming from the people, I came to tell you that it doesn't matter which lion the devil has sent your way. It doesn't matter what the situation you find yourself in. It does not matter where you have gotten to in life. You may think you are behind everybody else. You think your peers have gone to the university. You have not had access to university yet. You think you are not passing your SHS exams. Everybody you study in the class is passing. I am telling you that God is speaking to you that my son, it is well. I am going ahead of you. I am changing the story. I am telling you that sit that paper again. Pick that book again. Go for that registration form again. Apply this year too. Apply in the year to come. Go back to that job. Go back to that same place where I planted you. And do as I have told you to do. Bible says, when Isaac heard, Isaac threw away all that he had seen. He threw away all the frustrations. He threw away all the, the miserableness that he was feeling. And he started digging again. He started planting again. And Bible says, in that same year, everything grew, 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 grew. 
and he harvested an hundredfold. That is what God is about to do you to you in 2019. I am telling you that 2019 is a good year. Whether anybody else declares that 2019 is not a good year, I am telling you that God says 2019 is your year of advancement, it's your year of expansion, it's your year of increase, it's your year of growth. You will not fail, you will succeed, you will surpass them that have gone ahead of you. Because the Bible says, when he lies ahead, he he ran and he overtook Ahab. So shall it be your story tonight. That is what God is doing for you. Your life is going somewhere. You are not an outcast in the kingdom. No, 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 no. You may not know the full story because for the sheep, when he's in the mouth of the devourer, he does not understand what is going on. But I hear God says, I have sent men your way. I have sent shepherds your way. They will rescue you and they will tell you the word by which you will run for 2019 and your life 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 will be glorious your life will be glorious i see the power of god stepping into your family causing things to come together your mom and your dad may not be talking they may be separated but i see because of you there is a reunion god is working things out again behind the scene the power of god is moving 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 Ah, he's restoring unto you the yes that the canker worms up, the earth worms up. I have eaten. Your life will be glorious. Your life is glorious. Your life will be wonderful. 2019, you will come back home rejoicing. You will come back home rejoicing. The love of God and compassion about you. That is why 2019, you will not fear. You will not fear. You will not fear, you will not fear. I am telling you, cast away every doubt and run with the word that you are hearing. Are you here with me? Shout yes! My God. Hear ye. Church, hear ye. Hear you see for you to be able to hear one key thing is that you need to believe God wants to speak to you. I, I don't know who I've been telling people that as for you, that God can't talk to you, so you need to chase only after men of God. So you move from prophet A to prophet B to prophet C to I mean all sorts of others. Hallelujah. But I came to tell you that God wants to talk to you. Oh, he's been speaking. Oh, you don't believe that God has been talking eh? Are you ready? Please read John chapter 16 verse 13. I want to show you that God has been talking. And he is so willing to talk to you. In this 2019, in this very meeting, God wants to talk to you. God wants to, he doesn't want to speak to you you through another person. He wants to talk to you directly. He wants to talk to you directly. That you hear him. 16, 13. John 16, 13. Mm. How bait, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he mm. will guide you into all truth. Mm. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth, he will tell you whatever he hears. Do, do you see the importance of hearing? The spirit also hears. So he hears. He hears to say, hallelujah. He's hearing to tell you, hallelujah. For whatsoever he, he shall hear, thou shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Child of God. God is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. Hallelujah. As a God is speaking to you. 
God is speaking to you. The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You see, it's good you are here. You are hearing the word. You see, it is the word that will open the channel for you to hear the voice of God. So as you keep soaking the word and meditating on the word and hearing, you see, don't sit there and just look at the man of God and say, ah, I see, and they shout. No, no, hear with the intention that you are willing to obey, to run with the word. So after 31st night, I want to encourage you, 31st night, don't come with just coming sake. Come with the intention that whatever word that God is going to produce from this very pulpit, from the father of the house, you are hearing to obey. You are walking with that word. You are taking it hook, line, and sinker. And to one. Shut all other things out and run with that word. A lot of times we end up confusing ourselves because we, I think it has to do with, we don't really trust the place where God has planted us. That's one of the things that causes us to miss the mark. But if you know God has planted me in this commission, when the word of God proceeds from the pulpit, run with it. Let it be your chief word. And hear what God would add to it. What God would expand to it. You see, when God gives a word, eh, it doesn't just end there. Oh. He, he opens it up. Oh, he opens it up. He will show you step by step, step by step, what you have to do. Do this one, do this one, do this one, do this one. Don't do this one. Pass here, pass where. He, he will tell you the step by step. But a lot of times, we don't take time to go deeper into that word. So we don't hear the rest of the things. So... We know we have declared it's a year of expansion, but we don't know the steps to take to be expanded. But you need to hear the very word that will show you how the expansion will take place. You see, when God was talking to Isaac, he was telling him, dig this well. I'm sure he showed him the well number one he should dig. He did not tell him, he did not just go and then start digging from anywhere. You see, you start from here. Okay, you've done that one. Come and plant this one. Okay, go and dig this number two. Come do this one. That is how you need to hear. God has to give you the daily routine. He has to give you the, the step by step so that you can see the expansion that God is expanding you. That is what it means to run. That is why there is an ear left and there are two feet. When you hear, it is your feet that would carry it out. Hallelujah. I'm bringing my message to a close. Oh, come on, speak in the language of the Spirit. that hearing which will give you that access Romans chapter 8 verse 27 it says that he that searched the heart knowing what is the mind of the spirit in 2019 if you will excel you need to search what God is telling you when the man of God releases the word you need to take that word and go and search into that word it will take those who will be diligent to search into the word, to hear what God will tell them. If you do not do that search, if you do not take time and brood over that word, that is why the year does not just begin with you hearing 31st message and that is the end. No, 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 no. After the 31st message, the first, the second, you need to brood over that message. You need to search into it deeper so that you can, God will be able to give you a plan. That is what God told the early folks, about the pattern which they should follow to build. God told them, no, I want to build an ark. And Noah said, you want to build an ark? 
eh, but God, what do you say it can happen? So why didn't you let the ark appear? He brooded over the word. God says he wants to build an ark. God says he wants to build an ark. Then the, the voice came again. Okay, so I want it to be this long. I want it to be done here. I want it to look like this. Then God started releasing the pattern for him to follow what he needed to build. He had all of these things in his spirit and, and he kept writing them and doing as he had. 2019 is glorious. I, that one I can tell you. 2019, these are keys I have discovered myself for me. 2019, ha, if I'm returning here, 31st night, 2019. The things I'll be coming in will be amazing. Hallelujah. Oh no, my level will not be the same. <laughs> 2019. The best of 2019. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to search that word. He that searched the mind of the spirit. To hear, you need to search. Hallelujah. The second one I is you must believe it. A lot of you don't believe, especially when you hear the words that come from the pulpit, when God speaks. It's like, you, you juxtapose the word you've heard with what you are seeing. But I came to tell you that that order is wrong. You need to juxtapose what you are hearing. Not what you are seeing. What you hear is more important than what you are seeing in this life. So if you search through scriptures, even Paul said, it is what he has heard. Because the guy was beaten to death. Yet because of what he heard, when he fell down at Damascus, God says, Paul, it is me who you are crucifying. But I have called you to do my work. That word that he heard when he fell to the ground was the defining moment for Paul. That changed Paul's life. It didn't change his name from Saul to Paul. And that is what he ran with from the beginning to the end. He never lost sight of that word. What word are you hearing at the beginning? You know, when we hear the word too, in, in the middle of the year, we, we lose focus. We forget the word that we have heard because we don't even rehearse it. Hey, let me tell you, the Nigerians, uh, you see why the Nigerians, do you know the, one of the reasons why Nigerians prosper and they, are, they seem to be very wild? It's because when they hear a word, uh, the things they do with the word, it's like it is on their phone, it is in their book, it is in their washroom. They place it all around them. Everywhere they go, they are saying that word. Such that when you give them even a negative prophecy, he will tell you, now, it be you, it be you and your father. Uh, when you tell a Nigerian that I see death around us, you know, not me, it be your papa. No, it's because they, they have heard a word from wherever they are coming from that they, they, they are ahead, they are going forward, increase. So when any negative thing comes, uh, the reaction is because they soak themselves with a certain idea. There's a certain vim that has entered them. What are you hearing for 2019? What are you hearing, 2019? Are your ears ready? I hear God wants to activate your hearing. In this very meeting, he's going to open people's ears. Some of you will hear him very clearly. When God started speaking to me, do you know how he used to hear? It comes to my heart. You know, it started from that point. I, I, I feel some sensations in my spirit and I know it is God placing those words in me. He placed it there, then I know. But we all want to move forward. We have to grow. We have to also hear clearly. Hallelujah. You need to hear the word of God. You need to hear what he's telling you. Our effectiveness In hearing, it's also based on the quality of fellowship. The quality of fellowship. 
you have is the Holy Spirit. Be on your feet. Hey! I'm ending with this last point. According to First John chapter 1, verse 1, yeah, something that apostles encountered. <laughs> that scripture says, that which we have Let me tell you what happened. When, when Pastor Godfrey told me about the vision, when we were, I was very young then. Oh, yeah. That which we have heard, when I heard God said, Go, run with this vision. I have not been able to even look back. And that has been my watchword. I have been running with that word ever since. And this was the very scripture I encountered. The, 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 the writer said, And that which we have heard, it came, we started with what? What we have heard before it got to vision. It is what you are hearing that can move you from where you are to the next level. Ah, that's why I came to tell you tonight that God is saying a word. God has been speaking since the beginning of creation. Because if you read from Genesis, he says, and God said, and God said, and God said, God has been saying, God has been saying, who is hearing? Who is he that hearing the word of God? Ah, Paul said, who will believe our report? What we are telling, who is believing that report? Who is believing the word of God that is coming from the prophet to your life? I came to tell you that hear ye the word of God. Hear ye the word of God. Hear what God is telling you for 2019. For 2019 is your year of advancement. Your year of standing up. Your year, men will come to you. Good things will fly to you. You will attract the goodness of things. Your life will never be the same. Hey, I want to hear somebody pray. Hey, I came to push this. One TV. Feeding the world with the gospel.